Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the season of Capricorn reading. So anybody can watch this reading. You can be a Capricorn. You can have Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Maybe you know a Capricorn and you are cross watching for them, or you just want to know what may be happening between this season of Capricorn. The dates of this is December 22nd, 2018 till January 20th of next year, 2019. So we're going to be bringing through all kinds of messages here today using all kinds of different decks. If you guys are not interested in, um, you know, the shuffling process, not that I'm actually going to do all the shuffling ahead of time like normal. I will just do it as I bring forth the cards. So I'll introduce each thing as I'm doing it. Um, I just want to say a couple of things before I even get started. I want to say thank you to all of my uh, subscribers, all of my supporters out there on all my different social media platforms. And I want to give a special thank you, of course, to the people that have taken the time to donate to me on PayPal. Now, I do send a message, a thank you message to every single person that sends me a PayPal dono or donation. But what I'm noticing is that sometimes these messages are coming back as in it's a bad address, it's undeliverable. So I click on the caption that says contact this person. And so if the information is input incorrectly, I'm obviously not going to be able to get that message to you. So I just want to let you guys know, I thank you so much. I do get the donations and I try to address, obviously, the person that sent it to me, but it doesn't always go through for that reason. And this also goes for Amazon too. When those Amazon gifts come through, I will go ahead and scan the gift receipt and that will bring up an opportunity for me to uh, be able to message the person. But the thing is, is that there's no name or anything tied to it sometimes. And so if you guys are not getting through maybe your junk mail folder, which is where that message may end up, um, just know that I do send those out to every single person that sends me something. So I thank you again. I do try, but sometimes the messages are not going through. And then also, there are some people that have um, also taken the time, how many how many more times can I say also, uh, to send me gifts through uh, the mail to my P.O. box. And there's one in particular that came through, but I unfortunately, um, I only have the first name. And of course, I for privacy reasons, I don't want to mention it here on um, YouTube, but they just put their first name and then in parentheses, they put like a nickname. And I thought, well, maybe this is a nickname on social Social media. I searched it. I cannot find it. So anyways, I just want to say thank you so much to the person that sent me this amazing necklace. I am wearing the necklace right now, which is a crystal um, rose quartz, but they have all these like little attachments that go on the necklace. I am so thrilled. I just want you to know how amazing this gift is to me. I need this so much at this particular time. So for me, these crystals being close to my heart, which is where the pendant ends up on the chain is perfect. So you could not have sent me a better gift. I just want to say thank you to the person that sent that to me. I love it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Actually, before we get started, the reason that I chose Archangel Michael as the spray that I wanted to use, these sprays are from a lovely reader on YouTube. She is an angel channeler. She works specifically with Archangel Michael. No, Archangel Metatron, sorry. <laughs> We're using the Archangel Michael spray. Her name is Amanda Ellis. She's a fantastic reader. She has a, a YouTube channel. I'm subscribed to her. I watch her videos regularly. And um, she also does uh, readings as well. And she sells these amazing sprays. And she also offers classes. So I'll put her information in the description box below in case you guys are interested. She is in the UK. Um, you know, so just to let you guys know for... Um, you know where she's at that's where she's at but this archangel michael spray it smells divine and so this is for healing and connection and it's also for me how i use it is for protection so anything that we need to be strong you know in um anything that we need to let go that's why i'm bringing archangel michael into this reading so all we do is we just spray a couple of sprays here and it really just adds in the spirit of archangel michael oh that smells so good okay you guys let's get started now so the very first thing that we're going to get into, what is the overall theme and energy of you, the person watching this video or the person that you're watching the video for? OK, so we're going to go ahead and tap into the archetype cards by Carolyn Miss. So we're just going to basically get an overall theme and energy. And I'm going to draw from four different decks here. So just to kind of get an overall energy. OK. 
okay, what archetype is coming through for during this time period? We have martyr. Very interesting. So some of you may be in this energy of martyr. Well, we're going to go ahead and get more into it in a second. This particular deck, and I will also put the um, link in the description box below, is from an independent uh, deck creator. Um, her name is Soul Trees. Uh, it's Allison, and I'm sorry I don't have the information in my head right now, but I'll list it down below. It's an amazing deck. She makes a few different decks, and I have the... Um, you know, just the pleasure of purchasing one of these decks off of Etsy. So let's get an overall energy from this deck. Wow, we have partnership. I'm going to use my deck here, Signs from Spirit Love Oracle. I'll also put that in the description box below if you guys want to order it. We have green. Love it. Green can be associated, of course, with the heart chakra. It can also be associated with health, prosperity, and abundance. This one right here is called the Psychic Heart Tarot and Oracle Cards by John Holland. Ooh, we have the Three of Swords energy here. Okay, let's get into it. So the overall energy for this time period, which is about a 30-day period, we have Martyr. Martyr comes through as light and dark. So we're going to read both. The light attribute of the martyr is learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Okay. The shadow attribute is addiction to self-pity. So this has to do with partnerships. Now, this does not have to be a romantic partnership. This could be a partnership of any kind. This could be a, a co-worker, a family member, a friend, or a lover. This is, could be somebody that you are with currently or somebody that you are in separation with. It doesn't matter. The information is applying the same. With this card combination here, I sense that there has been some kind of sadness and heartbreak or even betrayal. For some of you, this could be third-party situation. I do not always read threes in tarot as third-party, but it depends on what comes through as far as the other cards are concerned. And the Three of Swords, to me, is one of my biggest indicators for possible third-party. But that's not going to apply for everybody. It just means that you might be dealing with more than one person in this situation that has caused you some sort of sadness or heartbreak. It might be that you feel isolated. Um, you know, there's two people and you're that third will. You feel isolated. There could be this energy here. So what it might be bringing up in regards to a partnership, okay, is it might be bringing up this energy of martyr. You know, sometimes we can get into that energy. I've done so much for this person. It's not fair. How can they not see me as somebody that's done so much for them? How can they be with somebody else? How can they go in another direction? How could they not choose me and this partnership? So if you guys are not resonating with this message so far, this is probably not the reading for you. And not all readings that we see on YouTube or for the people that we are subscribed to are going to resonate with us. So please keep that in mind. Maybe this specific message doesn't apply to you. Maybe the others will. I don't know. Just take it as it resonates. So definitely getting here that we need some sort of healing though, for sure. We need some sort of healing when it comes to the situation because that Three of Swords is definitely a sad, low vibrational energy. It's not an energy that we feel good in. It could be that you feel down while you're seeing somebody else rise to the occasion or rise to the top. We have very similar energies here. But this is Spirit's way of saying here that we are only as isolated and as broken as we allow ourselves to be. We can stay stuck in this martyr syndrome, which is, you know, I, I'm a victim. This is not fair. This always happens to me. I do so much for people and I get the shit into the stick. You can stay in that energy, but all that's going to do is it's going to keep you down and other people are going to continue to live their lives. They're going to continue to rise. So it's up to us to pull ourselves up and basically get out there and start feeling better. So you might be waiting on somebody to realize something, come back to you, see the error of their ways, 
Some of you, it may happen. Others, it may not happen. And so the last thing that you want to do is basically stay stuck and just allow other people to continue to move forward. And you're just staying stuck and sad and depressed. It's definitely not what you want to do. And especially if you're craving a good partnership, there will be other partnerships. There's prosperity and abundance that also comes through with this green card. So there's other partnerships. There's other people that are on your path to connect with. This may not be the only person for you. There may be other people that are just waiting on the horizon to connect with you. But as long as you're in this sad, isolated energy where you're just feeling depressed and down in the dumps over something that happened, a heartbreak or sadness or betrayal, it's not going to get you anywhere. There's prosperity and abundance and good health and healing available to you, but you've got to be willing to go out and get it. That's the, the biggest message coming through for those of you that are resonating with this reading. So that's your overall energy. So the devil being represented by Capricorn in tarot, this can be an indication of things that we need. And what I mean by that, I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of this reading, every single astrological sign has a tarot card connected to it. And Capricorn is represented by the devil's energy. This does not mean that Capricorns are you know devilish or negative or anything like that. But this season may be about letting go of toxic people in toxic situations or just our own toxic behavior sometimes okay and i want you guys to really wrap your head around this sometimes we deem somebody else to be toxic in our lives it's easier to cast all the blame and you're no good for me and i don't want you in my life because you're bringing me down this is the deal sometimes it's our own behaviors and our own shortcomings and our own defects and our own energy that's toxic now, this person may be a catalyst or triggering you in some sort of a way, but we've got to examine our own inventory. We've got to take personal inventory for our own energy that we've got that's connected to this person or this situation. So it's not always them. It's not always everyone else. Sometimes there is a mirror that is put up to us in order for us to basically really examine ourselves and heal whatever is no longer serving us. So this could be a behavior, yes, connected to another individual, but it may not just be them. We have to take the time to look at ourselves because when martyr is around, this may mean that we have a tendency to think, you know, we, we do all this for everybody else. And then when we don't get anything back in return, we're pissed off. We are feeling resentful. Do not give out of the martyr energy. Give to give. Do not give to get. So I don't know if that's going to ring true for some of you out there, but that's the message that's coming through for the overall energy that you're going to be dealing with within this time period. It's healing from this, letting a toxic energy maybe even a person or situation, maybe go, you know? And it may just be taking a break from this as well. Not everything has to be final or black and white. So let's go ahead now and move on into the next category, which is kind of similar to this, because now we're going to go into what are we leaving behind that's no longer serving us. I can see already with the overall energy that there's a situation or a feeling or a behavior that we have that is no longer serving us and that needs to end. But let's go ahead and see what else comes through or is this further clarified. So the cards that we're going to use for this are going to be the Syrian Starseed Tarot. And we're going to clarify it up with the Silver Era Tarot. What is no longer serving us? So I'm going to pick three cards and I'm going to clarify them here with the Silver Era Tarot. Okay, so we have Starseed, which is the Fool's Energy. We have the Tower's Energy, major cards coming through so far. And we have the Higher Self, all major arcana, you guys. 
When all major arcana come through, this is an indication that spirit is really assisting in a very powerful way. And the tower to me as a tarot reader is one of my special signif significators for divine intervention. That's just how I view the tarot. What we cannot do for ourselves, sometimes spirit takes these matters out of our hands and helps us along by you know, causing some sort of catastrophe. It's not to punish you. It's not to, you know, hurt you in that sense that we might, see, you know, think. It's more of an energy of something needs to get shaken up because the path that you're on or the way that you're going about a situation, it's just not working. You can keep going in the same circles over and over again, but we don't want you to do that. We want you to basically scoot along, start fresh, start new. So, the fool's energy to me coming through is an energy and indication. Remember, things that we need to let go of. So since this is more of like the challenging aspects of these cards, I will read them as that. The star seed fool's energy here and the negative would be that we need to start fresh. We need to start new. We may be hanging on to a situation. We may not want to let go, which is why that tower card is coming through. Our higher self, as in our higher self is trying to take care of us. We do know what to do. This is about also connecting to spirit. Deep down inside, we do know the answers. We do know what to do, but we may not want to listen to that. We may not want, not want to listen to our higher self. We may not want to listen to the signs that spirit is bringing through that we need to let go of something that something is no longer serving us in a positive way and like i said you guys it doesn't have to be black and white it could just be temporarily letting go while something heals and maybe it returns so i don't want anyone to get triggered out there that i'm telling you you have to let go of someone forever it just depends on how you know toxic it has become for you so why don't we go ahead and clarify that fool's energy we have a queen of wands. So this could be a special message here for some of you out there that maybe you are a fire sign or you're dealing with a fire sign. This is going to be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. The queen of wands, just energetic wise, is very confident. She's very driven. She's basically full of power and charisma. So what I'm getting from this card combination, what you're being asked to leave behind, is you're being asked to leave behind a situation that has become toxic, that is no longer going smoothly, or that is just creating a lot of disruption in your life. It may even be taking a toll on your self-esteem. You might not feel like this queen of wands, this very powerful person that is just knows what they want to do and, is, and goes after it. The queen of wands doesn't sit around and the energy that already came through here. This is not the Queen of Wands energy. It's not. So the Queen of Wands is full of confidence. She's full of life. She's full of energy. She's driven. She knows what she wants. People are magnetically attracted to the Queen of Wands. She's very beautiful by nature. So again, there's some kind of an energy that is dragging you down and it needs to be eliminated. If, you know, like I said, for a short period of time or some of you for good. So it's, it's preventing you from this fresh new start. It's preventing you from going after your dreams and planting seeds for the future and planting seeds that are meant for you. Because when I see the word star, this tells me divine guidance. And I already see divine guidance and divine intervention with that tower. And then the higher self is basically connecting with yourself, your higher self and spirit. So very spiritual energy coming through that's trying to help and assist you when it comes to getting into your queen of wands spirit which is you don't need to sit around and be dark and depressed and sad over a situation let something go that isn't serving you or is no longer working plant new seeds for a new future let's clarify that tower yeah this is time to end the cycle it's time to close up a chapter okay the world is coming full circle with the realization that something is no longer serving us. Something is no longer 
you know, just meant to be in our lives or it's just not to be meant to be in our lives right now. It's not serving a higher purpose anymore. So it's time to let something go. It's time to let a chapter in so we can walk through new doors. So this is the thing, you guys. We have endings, yes, but we also have fresh energy. So there are opportunities. There are opportunities. And remember, you guys have prosperity and abundance in the in the form of new partnerships. You guys aren't going to be left hanging dry with nothing. It's about closing a door so that way new ones can open. Now let's go ahead and go into the higher self. This is the high priestess's energy. Knight of Cups. So this is the thing, you guys. You guys could be dealing with a water sign individual, but it does not have to be. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but this is just a cup of love your cup of love, somebody else's cup of love that you want, the cup that you need to heal. There's this higher self energy coming through as in, you know, your higher self already has the answers about this situation, already has the answers and everything that you basically need. You already have all of the information. I don't know why this is crooked here. You already have all of the information that you seek. You're already being given the signs here on what to do. But some of you are having a difficult time letting something go. And it could be this Knight of Cups energy. Knight of Cups is very romantic and very dreamy. So when we're in this energy, sometimes it can be very difficult to differentiate between fact and fiction, fantasy or reality. So it could be that you've gotten swept up perhaps in some kind of a whirlwind fantasy or romance romance and that's not to say that it that wasn't real but it just means that this energy here again something is now unstable something is now run its course and it's time to basically stop romanticizing something and to trust what your higher self is trying to do so i'm just really getting here that what is no longer serving you you already know and so it's being confirmed in this reading that it's time to kind of get out of that dream state and it's time to put a foot back into reality and to put your foot into the ground so that way you can plant new seeds for a new future. Now, this does not have to be romantic. It even came through in the beginning of the reading, but I feel like somehow this, this reading is tied to other people. Could even be a project for some of you, but for most of you, this is definitely an energy of leaving a partnership or leaving a person in the past and trying to move forward towards a new future. And your higher self knows it, you know it. You might have not wanted to do this or listen, but maybe this inner maybe this reading is serving as that confirmation for you. So, now let's go ahead and get some angel advice. How are our angels assisting? Now, I already saw it all over this reading that we definitely have divine inter intervention for sure. But let's go ahead and take it a step further and see just how are the angels showing up? What angels are those and how are they assisting us with this letting go process? This is called the Angels of Atlantis cards and these are card the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. And if you guys notice, um, which I have recently, that Doreen Virtue has completely taken her names off of the tarot decks that her and Radley Valentine created, which is fine. Her belief system is a little bit different now. But Radley Valentine created this deck too, so I tend to honor it. Or I intend to honor it. Because he's still very much a part of this community. So let's go ahead and get a message from our angels, how they are assisting. Wow. Archangel Raphael is the card of healing. More green, you guys. More green. So this is a card of communion. Communion. I almost thought that said communication. It says communion. Okay, so let's see what this may have to do with. Interesting. We have the chariots energy, Archangel Metatron coming through, and we have Archangel Raphael confirming something here. So this particular deck here, I don't work with it enough, so I don't want to miss out on any of the good messages for communion. So I don't really care to do this, but I just feel like I want to do this. So we're talking about communion. We want to take a look and see what we've got here because I think that there's probably a really special message out there for some of you with this particular card. So let's get into it if I can find it. Hold on for just a moment. Okay. 
Here we go. Communion. Raphael's oracle reminds you of the great Islamic tradition of the Hajj, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, an annual pilgrimage to Mecca where pilgrims celebrate a communion with their earthly brothers and sisters in face of the divine. The objective is the twofold right of collective petition and praise of the divine. Therefore, observe where communion is not apparent in your life. Know that the source is within you, ever present and all wise wishing you to reveal the joy of your life in your heart, which possesses true insight. Chant Om three times to align with the communion of the holy angels and Raphael will show you the way. So this is like communion with spirit, communion with yourself. Raphael is the holy here, wow, the holy healer. It's also showing up here. The eight of cups, which is what eight of Raphael is, is telling you and it's being confirmed already through this reading that there's something else out there for you that's better for you on the horizon. Now, it may be a healed connection, perhaps, as in we let go of it now and it's healed for later on, or this is a new situation entirely. There is something better waiting for you. It says, do what you know is right for you. Remember, the high priestess, you already know a spiritual quest. This spiritual quest is coming through for, through the communion card. This is about getting more in touch with your spiritual side, communi communing with yourself and spirit, and even perhaps a spiritual community. So if some of you during this time period, it may be that you're collaborating with other people when it comes to healing, or it's through this group of people or your connection with source that is really helping you through this difficult time of letting go. Eight of Cups is about letting go of things that no longer serve us. That is the theme of this reading for some reason. The Chariot's energy, this is about determination. I see the Chariot's energy here as moving forward and basically charging ahead with that determination. You are going to survive. You are going to prevail. So I have two cards indicating moving forward. And that's obviously a lot of the energy that comes through my readings for a reason, because I always like to, you know, help people to see that by hanging on to something and especially a lower vibrational way is not going to bring you the things that you want. It's only through moving forward and choosing to step into a positive, empowering energy that we are going to be able to attract the things that we want to ourselves. And if certain things are meant for you, they will be waiting for you on that path up the road. But we cannot stay stuck to the old path, the old way, or constantly looking behind. We're not going to be able to move forward in that energy. So how the angels are assisting us with letting go at this particular time is Archangel Metatron and Raphael are helping you to commune with spirit and, and other people while you are on this path and journey and reminding you that there's something so much better on the horizon for you. You just have to trust it. That's what it is. You just have to trust it. And I love that Archangel Metatron is coming through this reading because um, Amanda Ellis specifically channels and works with Archangel Metatron. That's really, really cool. So thank you, Archangel Metatron, for that special message and Archangel Raphael. So now what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to go into what is coming in for us. Okay, what is what is the energy? We walk away from something. Now, what is ushering in? Let's take a look at that. What are some what are some things that are coming into our experience? So we are going to go ahead and use these cards here, which are from Chiro Marchetti. This is called the Tarot Grand Lux and also his Oracle of Visions. And we are also going to bring in James Van Pra cards, which are the power of love oracle cards. So let me just shuffle all these guys up. What are we bringing in? We have the six of 
coins. Oh, I love this card. The six of coins is about an equal exchange of give and take. What you put out there is what you're getting back, the balancing of giving. So if some of you, and we did get the martyr for the overall theme of the person watching this video or whoever you're resonating with this video for, this is something about an equal give and take. So if you are you fall into that martyr category where you're always giving, but you're not getting anything in return, what's coming for you is a balance in this energy. You are balancing the scales. You're not, it's not that you're not giving as much, but you're not giving it all. You're you're being a little bit more discerning when it comes to who you're giving to and who you are opening yourself up to and you're attracting the right people to your life now. You are in a different vibration because you're cutting ties with the old and you're you're willing to go through new doors and new experiences. And so this is good. So things are gonna be a little bit more balanced or it just means that you're gonna be getting the correct energy that is right for your spirit, okay? Look at this. Yes, I see this card as a wonderful card, as in we're right on the edge of a new experience. All we got to do is take that leap of faith. That's what this card is to me. Take a leap of faith. The fool's energy already came through this reading, and I see this deck. Every reader, just so you know, interprets the Oracle of Visions deck to their own accord. The reason why is that it was designed to be in this way. There's no words on these cards. So I view this card as my fool card. So it's just a double confirmation in this reading that we need to be willing to take a risk and to go into a new experience. We're right on the edge about ready to just fly. So what you need, what is meant for you is on the other side. It's on the other side of this past situation. Okay, but we have to trust it. We have to let go of that old way of being or that old person or that old way of thinking in order to bring this fresh energy in. So what else do we have? We have purpose. Beautiful. It says you you possess the determination and dedication to constant or I'm sorry, consciously demonstrate love purpose. Now, I love that we have a card that already came through that talks about determination, moving ahead, moving forward, charging ahead, right? So I also see this card sometimes, just depends on however other cards come through, as a card of destiny. We're on the pathway to our destiny, the things that are destined for us, our life purpose. So now we have a card of purpose here. So it's just a confirmation from spirit for me that basically this is propelling you to move forward towards your divine life's purpose. Some of you may already be in your life's purpose, okay? But some of you may be searching. And it's from disconnecting from an old way of being and taking a risk and going forward with fresh energy that your purpose is going to present itself. And if you have already found your purpose, it is within your life's purpose that you are now going to start receiving the rewards that you have been looking for. Okay, so if things have been scarce, things the balance, the scales have been imbalanced, things are going to come in balance. So this is what's ahead for you guys in this time period. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some messages here, just clo closing messages from spirit. Okay, actually, before we do that, this is what's ahead from for us. I'm going to go ahead and do something a little different. I did select a couple of extra decks here just in case I felt guided to do something different and I'm feeling it. I want to know from spirit what is fated for us. I kind of feel like what just came through is our destiny. Destiny and fate, this is just my opinion. Some of you may see things differently and that's no problem, but I'm just letting you guys know because this is where I'm coming from with the messages. Destiny, there's free will within destiny. It's certain things that are going to show up in our path for a reason, of course, but we have the ability to say no to those things or not you know, work on certain contracts and things like that. Fate is fate. This is spirit. This is things that are that spirit is bringing in that are fated for us. Now, the thing is that sometimes people misconstrue fate, which is I'm meant to be with that person. I'm I different. I, I differ in that opinion. 
it's they're fated that that person would be in your life to teach you a specific lesson and you've got to learn something from it and it may go you may go round and round with the same person over and over again until you learn that lesson like you got no free will about that but it doesn't mean that it's meant to be as in you know that's very close minded that closes off everything else in your life that's just my opinion though okay so why don't we go ahead now and just see what is spirit talking about in regards to the faded events in our life, the things that we are fated to experience or learn during this time period. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what fate might drop at our doorstep. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Raven Felon or Felon, however you say her name. And this is an oracle deck that she created, which is called the Messenger Oracle, and it actually coincides with the artwork of this deck. So it's a pretty cool, cool decks to use together. All right, fate. What is fate dropping on our doorstep during this period of time? Okay, we have the Four of Swords energy. Okay, the Four of Swords is an energy here of going within taking a break, pulling away perhaps from something or an energy. And we have knowledge to retrieve knowledge, to understand a lesson. All right. Oh, sorry, you guys, let me grab this. And it has to do with our emotions. We're meant to experience a certain type of emotion, but we're meant to heal this emotion. We're meant to learn from whatever emotions are coming through. So this isn't really bringing through like a specific event, you guys, and that's okay because I'm just rolling with what Spirit's giving me right now. Um, but this is, you're meant to feel something. You are meant to deal with some sort of energy that has really got you emotionally charged up positive or negative it doesn't matter you are meant to learn something but what you are meant to do is you are meant to learn something about yourself you're meant to go within you're meant to reflect during this time you are meant to seek out the lesson and what all of these emotions mean or, 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 or what they're meant to teach you. It could be that somebody is a teacher for you during this time period. Sometimes we can look at people as a curse, as our enemy. The, one of the best things that you can do is look at the person to say, what, does that, what do they have to teach me? What am I meant to learn from this situation? So I'm seeing during this time period what you're meant to do, what's fated for you, what's a part of your spiritual growth on this path is to learn from the emotions that are coming up in you. So if they are dark, you're meant to feel that. You're meant to heal that. You're meant to transmute that energy. If it is happy energy, you are meant to do something with it. You are meant to share either your knowledge or your experience from this situation, whatever is being brought up in you with the world. You're meant to take some sort of lesson and apply it to your life. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and get some Oracle. Oh, I, I can't believe this. Did This is incredible. Seek the lesson. This is, <laughs> I just love it when this happens. This is so great. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, seek the lesson. You are meant to seek the lesson in this situation, just like I freaking said. So yeah, that is amazing that that came through. And I'm super excited because again, you know, um, you're meant to learn something. So if some of you feel like, you don't understand why something happened. You don't understand why you had to go through something. Sometimes we can feel like a victim, self-pity, martyr, that energy. We're being challenged during this time period not to get into self-pity mode. We are meant to empower ourselves by taking this experience or this triggering of emotions and to apply it to ourselves, to seek the lesson from within, this is also a time to take personal inventory, to see where maybe our emotions or our actions may have created the experience that we are experiencing right now. So it's not a time to be a victim. It's not a time to be here. And this came through very loud and clear. It's not a time to be in this energy, you guys. It's not. It's actually a time to be in this energy and this energy very empowering moving forward energy 
love it all right let's go ahead and end this reading with three messages we are going to be using the conscious spirit oracle cards three message from spirit please to end up this beautiful reading So we are transmuting the energy of the devil this time period, you guys. We really are. Earth angel. Beautiful. I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who live here. So this is beautiful because this is an indication here that there's earth angels everywhere. Earth angels can come in the form of animals. I often see animals as earth angels, companions that offer support and healing and just, you know, cause that calming effect for us, you know, reminds us to just take a break, reminds us to just focus on the little things that make us happy. This is also in the form of other people. Other people are earth angels for us during this time period. People just showing up when you least expect it. It could even be that one person that helps you out on the side of the road with a flat tire. That's an earth angel. Just anybody that's there on our path in order to lift us up or help us out or just give us some sort of light when we need it the most. So Spirit's saying here that there are earth angels everywhere. There are earth angels here to basically help and to assist you. You could also be an earth angel, as in you are somebody that identifies with being, you know, an angelic um, helper, you know, here to help and to heal other people. So this is something to focus on during this time period. We also have crown chakra. Wow. So there's some very high spiritual energy coming through here. It says, I know I am part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. So this is a time to really focus on communion. Remember that came through th from Archangel Raphael. It's really a time to focus on communion. It's a time to focus on our, our connection and our relationship and our partnership with source. So the partnership that came through at the beginning of this reading, maybe it's more about our partnership with source that's really going to help us in order to heal. And that may put us on the right track towards the things that are right for us. Okay. Last message. We have your own path. Wow. You know, it's come through this reading a few times about purpose and destiny and our path. This says, I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. So people who are resonating with this reading all the way up to the very end, or maybe certain parts of it and not others, that's okay. These final messages are that you are being taken care of, that you are being properly guided on this path that you are currently on. But I feel like the, the, just the overall message is to not get caught up in lower vibrational energy of self-pity and worrying about how much you did for other people and that they didn't meet you halfway. You know what? It's time to disconnect and to move forward into new partnerships and to new energies with maybe new people that are going to meet your needs. So it's about disconnecting from lower energies and maybe allowing it to heal so those, those connections can be healed for the future or you are moving on into a whole new energy and a whole new path. Wow, what an amazing reading. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and resonated with some of it. If you guys didn't resonate with any of it, no problem. Chuck the reading, no worries. Maybe we'll connect next time. All right, thank you so much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.